Good morning students. I hope you are enjoying this online learning sessions. Now in this video we will see practice set 1.3 question number 1. We have been given statements uh, with the subset relations. We need to prove whether the given statements are true or false. Let's see the first question. Is C subset of P? Now, to prove whether C is subset of P or not, we need to see whether all the elements of set C are a part of set B or not. Set C contains elements P and D. And set B contains C, D, E and F. Here we can see element D is present in set B but B is not there in set B. Therefore, the statement C subset B can be considered as false. Now, the reason for this will be as all elements of set C are not present in set P. Let's see the second example. Is A subset of D? Now, to prove A is subset of D, all elements of set A should be present in set D. Let's see what are the elements. Elements in A are A, B, C, D, E. And set D contains A, comma, E. Now, are all the elements of set A part of set D? No. Set A is a bigger set. It contains few extra elements also. Other than set D. That is A and E. Therefore, this statement A subset D will be false. Now, the reason for this can be written on the same lines as in example 1. Let's see the next example. Is D subset of B or not? Now, to prove D is subset B, all the elements of set D should be present in set B. Let's see the elements. D is equals to A comma E. And elements in set B are C, D, E and F. Now, are all the elements of set D part of set B? E is present in both the sets, but A is not there in set B. Therefore, D subset B statement is false. Let's see the next example. D subset A. Is this statement true or false? Let's see. Now to prove D is subset of A, all the elements of D should be present in set A. Now elements of D are A and E. Elements of A are A, B, C, D, E. Now here both the elements of set D are also elements of set A. Therefore D subset A statement is true. Let's see the next example. Is B subset A? Now to prove B subset of A all the elements of set B should be present in set A. Let's see the elements. B is equals to C, D, E, F. A is equals to A, B, C, D, E. Here you can see all the elements of set B are not a part of set A. C and E are there in set A, but B, uh, sorry, D and F are not present in set A. 
therefore this statement also is false let's see the last example is c subset a now to prove c is subset of a we need to have all the elements of set c should be present in set a c is equals to b comma d and elements of a are a b c d e here in this example we can see both the elements of set c are present in set a also therefore c subset a this statement is true let's see next example sum number 3 sum number 3 we have a universal set which contains elements 1 2 3 7 8 9 10 11 12 we have another set that is p which contains elements 1 3 7 10 now in this question we need to show the sets universal set p and complement of p by venn diagram let's see how to draw venn diagram for this question now here we can see p is a smaller set which is a subset of universal set now since p is a smaller set will be taken up as a smaller circle and inside the circle we will write the name of a set that is p and inside the circle will be also writing the elements that is 1 3 7 10 these elements can be written inside this set anywhere now 1 3 7 10 10 are already covered so we will underline this so that we will come to know which elements are remaining from the universal set now universal set is taken up as a rectangle and the elements which are outside set p can be called as complement of p and since this rectangle is a universal set we will write u outside the rectangle now let's see which are the elements which are present in this part that is complement of p now 2 8 9 10 sorry 10 is already covered in set p so 11 and then 12 okay these are the elements which are present in complement of p in this way we can draw the venn diagram now second part of this sum says verify complement of complement of p is equals to p now basically this is a property of complement of a set let's see how will we prove it now left hand side of this we have complement of complement of p now how do we find this complement now to find out complement of any of the set we can subtract this particular set from universal set so we can use the formula u minus p dash now let's see what are the elements in universal set so we'll copy down all the elements from universal set that is 1 2 3 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 minus complement of p complement of p consist of elements 2 8 
Now to subtract this, what we can do is we can remove these elements 2, 8, 9, 11, 12 from universal set. So to understand what we'll do is we'll cancel these elements in set of uh, universal set 2, 8, 9, 11, 12. I have cancelled out. Now let's see which are the elements which are remaining. We are left with 1, 3, 7, ten. Now these elements 1, 3, 7, 10 are nothing but are all the elements which are present in set P. Now let's see left right hand side. Right hand side we have set P which contains elements 1, 3, 7, 10. Now here we can see the elements of left hand side and right hand side are matching. Therefore it is proved complement of complement of P is equals to P. Hence verified. Let's see example number 4. Example number 4. We have been given set A which contains elements 1, 3, 2, 7. We need to write subsets of set A. Now subsets are always the smaller sets which are which are the part of a bigger set. So we can uh, write the possible subsets of A are now as you know empty set is subset of every set. So first set can be written as empty set which is subset of set A. Then we can break this whole set into smaller parts. Let's write one one exam one one element first one three two seven. Now let's take a grouping of two two elements at a time in a particular set one and three. 3 and 2, 2 and 7, then 1 and 7. Still we can write more possible subsets that as 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 7, then 1, 2, 7 and as every set is subset of itself so we can write the same set that is set A that is the elements are 1, 3, 2 and 7. I hope you understood all these sums. Thank you.